Hi, it's Maria from Sweden here, aka Planner Mother of Three. It's Saturday morning and I am about to start working. Uh, I will have to do a very important thing here in the before noon. Uh, but before that, I thought that I was going to do a plan with me together with you and uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about the planners that I use for the moment. Uh, I am a Hobonichi uh, planner as you know and this week's is the one that is my everyday carry and here I am you know writing things to remember and uh, I decorate sometimes and sometimes it's just all messy uh, but this one is a very, you know, loved one. I will for sure buy a new one for 2022. Uh, but what I don't like with the weeks, I, actually, and that's kind of interesting, is that it is the horizontal way. I don't have uh, room enough for, uh, you know, writing down all the appointments that I have. But what I do love is that I can just write a general working hour and then I can do some, you know, important uh, appointments that I have and then I can use this side for to-do lists and trackers and other things to remember. And uh, yeah, so this one is a must for me, but, um, and it's tiny, and but sometimes it's not as tiny as I need it to be. And uh, so what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna complement this one with the weekly spring in the A6, Hobonichi A6, this is a Hobonichi A6 size, and it's a weekly spring, and it's a vertical one. It's very tiny, tiny, but um, I will use this one with color coding so that I can really easy see what's going on in my life. Uh, it's kicking in, I'm having a lot, lot of things to do, so I really need to make a good overview uh, of everything. I have my digital calendar, my Outlook in my iPhone and on my PC, but as you know, uh, and as you probably are, um, I, wanted to, I want to be analog also. Together with this small, tiny, very light one, <clears throat> I have this little notebook. This one is from the uh, uh, book designer, uh, book binders design, sorry, book binders design. And um, it's very tiny, the paper is perfect. And here is all the brain dumping thing that I do when I am away. So these two are, you know, they are not many grams. Uh, they are very lightweight and they are tiny in their size. So these two can always go together with me and my iPhone. As you can see, the, the phone is nearly as, you know, small or big as the notebooks. So these three are always together with me. Perfect, perfect. And then I normally have a Le Pen with me and that's, you know, this really nice, very, very nice pen uh, that works perfectly well for the Hobonichi paper, the Tomo River paper, paper and all other papers. And I have these pens in all different colors. So this is a great combo of these four. I can highly recommend. Anyway, <clears throat> Then on my table, I have my Hobonichi cousin, and here I am uh, planning. I'm writing down everything that happens. This is this week, and um, I am. I have different. I use different systems. Sometimes I am doing the to-do lists here. Sometimes I am very specific in my planning, and sometimes it's, it's much more general. I have trackers and so forth. Uh, right now, I am just writing down. I have no, you know, intention of making it pretty. It's just for me to be able to write down things to remember. And together with this one, I have a Stellogy B6 size. And here is where I do all the to-dos. A lot of things happens right now in my 
in my life as I am becoming the only owner of my business, the business that I've owned together with my, my partner who unfortunately died this summer. And uh, yeah, so a lot of grief, a lot of tears. Uh, at the same time, I have to be very professional and productive. So it's quite challenging, but, um, and I can really feel that my brain is, you know, working 100% 24 hours a day. And uh, to help myself, uh, I try to do these to-do lists. So that's why I, I always have this one. So every time when I, you know, find something in my head that I have to remember, I put it down here. <clears throat> and then I put it down here when I get home. And uh, if I am at home, I use these to-do lists. And these are just to-do lists and I, I check them off when I'm finished. Very, I love the paper of the Stylogy. The B6 is also has a quite large size of the of the grid, and um, and I I love that. Um, the A5 has smaller sizes, so I don't know why, but that's how it is. Anyway, <clears throat> then I have the Happy Planner, uh, the big size. And this one is where I document everything that is important for me. So here I am using the tabs to, you know, log all the assignments that we get. I have taken out actually the planner part of the planner because I thought that I was going to use the vertical um, pages, uh, but I don't really find the the way of using it. So I am back in my Hobonichi and in my Stalogy and I'm waiting for the Wonderland 222. Um, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to work with that when it comes. It, 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 I think it will come, it will arrive around the middle of September. But what I'm thinking is that I will use the monthly spread for the money the money in and the money out for the company and then I've just tucked uh, one page together with another one so that I have a a brain dump goal setting thing for October here and then I put papers and everything that I need um, for September will be here and then so what I've done is that I have <clears throat> here in the end of the book I have made my own tabs by using the Dynamo uh, and writing different things that are important for me. And behind these are things that I have, you know, no no papers and uh, everything that I really have to remember. So I think this will be, you know, the large notebook for the company. So that works really well. I love the Happy Planners because of their really pretty um, layouts, the, the mantras, the quotes, the colors and so forth. But uh, I found out that I, for the moment at least, uh, don't really find the way how I can use the vertical or the teacher planner layout. But <clears throat> this one in the classic size, this one is the 18th, 18 month planner and this one is a dear dear friend of mine um, I have the the yearly spreads and then I have the monthly I don't I haven't used these yet uh, we'll see about that actually the sorry the monthly here are very well used here I am using them for the pre-planning so that I can see what's happening and I will probably color code it and then I have uh, another one <clears throat> and here are the deadlines that I really have to be aware of so these are really well used also <clears throat> anyway so what I've done I can't really show you but what I've done is that uh, for for instance here um, this is my company diary um, and I use it as a summarize of the day. So everything that I really need to remember that I've done for the company, I write, write it down here. So 
if I have filled in a form or if I have got a, um, a decision of something or as we did yesterday, we did some uh, photograph uh, photographing of me and my my companions for the for our web page and we did some changes on the web page and so forth so I do do write every summarize here and I it's perfect I can't really show you anything about that but that works really well for me so this is the last thing I do every day when I finish work I just write down the high the highlights or the important things of the day perfect perfect and that works really really well anyway so let's do the plan with me 